My name is Andrew Davies, I'm part of the Magic School team, and today I'm going to walk you through the latest update to the Magic Student Experience. My hope is that by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to use Magic Student to set up meaningful AI experiences with student rooms. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna to go to the left side of my screen and I'm gonna click on Magic Student. From this page, teachers can explore all the different tools that could be available to students. Then as a teacher, you will choose which tools you want your students to have access to at any given point. When you go to the left and click on Rooms, this is where you'll see all the previous rooms that you've created. You can always revisit those rooms. You can relaunch those rooms to your students. You can also go up to the top right corner and click Create Room if you wanna start creating a room from there. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to create a student room from the student tools dashboard. So once you pick a tool, it's going to open up this window that allows you to fill out the tools details and instructions. So on the left is where you'll actually fill out all the fields for your customization. And on the right is the preview of the tool. So to save time, I'm going to actually go down to the bottom and click on use template, which is a really handy tool to know. So let's say you build this really awesome tool and you want to save it. You can always click save template and use it again later. A little extra tip. So I'm going to click use template and I'm going to pull up the persuasive essay template that I've already built before. Here you can see I have this is my rough draft writing feedback tool for students to get feedback on their rough draft. I left it as ninth grade. I have my description. I also have the rubric that I want the AI to score with. And for this, you would just click the add file drop down and then you can upload any type of rubric that you would like the AI to reference. At the bottom, you also have these additional fields. Here, you can let the AI know a little bit more about what the learning objective or the goal of this chat is going to be. You can also give additional instructions. Maybe you want the AI to only allow the students to submit their work one time rather than multiple times. You can put that in the additional instructions. You also have the super handy button here called the prompt assistant, where if you want the AI to help you write the prompt, it will do that to make it a little more clear for the AI to follow. Before you launch any tool to a student, you wanna try it out first. So I'm gonna try the preview. So here I've uploaded an example student essay and let's see what kind of feedback we get. So let's say you've tried this tool several times and you like the way it works. You can then simply share that tool to your students by clicking save to room. But before I do that, maybe I wanna add one more tool to this room for my students to use. So I'm gonna to go to add tool and I'm gonna add in the research assistant. Now you can see I have two tools in this room and I can always toggle back and forth between the two. And if I'm happy with these tools and I feel like they're ready for students to use, I would click save to room. Here I can name a new room or I could even add these tools to an existing room that I've already used in the past. But for this video, I'm gonna just make a new room. Now from here, I can share the link to this room, put it in Google Classroom or give my students a QR code to access it. This here is my teacher dashboard for this given room. You can see I'm in the new writing room. Once students start interacting with those different tools, then their interactions would begin to appear right here where I'll be able to monitor and moderate all of the conversation. Let me show you what that will look like. So here I'm logging in as a student to the link that my teacher would have provided for me. Here you can see these are the two tools that we made available to that student. I can click on the writing feedback tool. Now, if you only assigned one tool to your students, once they log into the room, this interaction would begin immediately for that one tool. Now that I, as the student, have started an interaction, I'm gonna show you what this looks like on the teacher side. Here you can see on your teacher dashboard, there is now some activity taking place where Andrew, the student, began interacting with the rough draft writing feedback tool. I can click on Andrew's name and pull up the entire conversation. I can see that Andrew is distracted and I can also generate a summary if I'd like of Andrew's conversations with all the AI tools that he may have interacted with. And these summaries are nice because it just gives you some more insights into that student. And the more the student interacts with the chatbot, the more information you're gonna get here. And if I wanna see all the conversations that Andrew had with the different tools, I can just simply go down here to the bottom and click on every tool that he interacted with and see that entire conversation. And if some conversations take place in the room that might need to be looked at, you'll notice up here in your moderation pane that you'll get a notification saying that there's a conversation you might want to pay attention to because Andrew was saying that he was not happy. You also have this button here to preview as a student. So if you wanna just show your students what this room is gonna look like before they actually go into the experience, you can click preview as a student and show them what that would look like from their view. 
From the same dashboard, you can also see student room insights. Here you can see a great summary of all the different ways your class has been interacting with the different tools in the student room. You can also go to the settings pane where you can actually add new tools to that student room from here rather than having to start from scratch. You can even change the name and description of the room if needed. And one of my favorite pieces, you can click the three little dots up here and you can share this room with other teachers. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you the resources page. If you click on resources, it'll take you to this page that has multiple videos that will show you different ways you can use Magic Student with your classroom. You'll also find this awesome curated list of already created student room templates. These are created by our Magic School team, but also educators like you and our AI pioneers. So for example, if I wanna try out this escape room, I can click on escape room and it will open up that student experience for me. And if you decide you wanna add it to your student room dashboard, you simply click add to your rooms. If you click on this link to the right, you'll find many, many more templates that we've already created that you can explore. That's it. Hopefully now teachers, you feel equipped to use Magic Student with your students this school year. Please let us know if you have any questions in the comments below.